Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist here in the Seattle area. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. Thank you for subscribing. And also thank you for your support on my other platforms as well. I'm over a year and a half in the social media world and I'm having a lot of fun. So let's jump into acne. Acne is a very important topic, especially amongst my younger patients, the teenagers, young adults with scarring acne, very debilitating. Also the scarring can be quite disfiguring. And also we see a lot of mental health issues associated with severe acne or even moderate to severe acne. And so if you're ever having issues with your acne, it's worsening, not responding to over-the-counter treatments or scarring, make an appointment with your dermatologist ASAP. This video does not replace a visit with your dermatologist or doctor in general, and it's not medical advice, okay? So let's talk about acne. Acne, there are different types of acne. It's definitely a multifactorial process. There's hormones involved. Hormones when you're in your teens, as you're developing through puberty, but also hormones can play a part in your mid to late 20s and on especially in females and you can get that jawline lower half of the face acne that is very stubborn topical treatments a lot of times can't cut it uh, and then there are other things like diet so sugary foods uh, dairy like cow's milk can also play a part so when in regards to treatment of acne you want to start with a good foundation and it starts with cleansing you want a good cleanser gentle cleanser but also you might want to consider cleansers with benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. There, there are people who are allergic to these products, and so you have to be very careful if you have sensitive skin, okay? And you don't wanna overdo it and like double up on benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid in a particular day. I wouldn't do benzoyl peroxide and salicylic, salicylic acid in the same day or benzoyl peroxide twice a day. I usually say do choose one and just do it once that day, and then you can alternate between salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide uh, alternating by days, okay? Uh, in terms of treatments though, there are good treatments uh, out there and even a nice one that is available over the counter called uh, Adapalene 0.1% Gel. And they come in two brands, so let's get into Adapalene. it. There are two options you can consider at the drugstore or online. There's La roche posay Effaclar Adapalene 0.1% Gel. Again, the 0.3% is what I prescribe in clinic. This is over the counter. Different Gel, this is also Adapalene 0.1%. Again, this is education, okay? So again, if, you're, if your acne is out of control, it's causing scarring, definitely make an appointment with your doctor. This does not replace a doctor's visit, but I gotta talk about this, this is great. So Adapalene, if you guys are on Adapalene, just know the biggest mistakes I see is that you're using too much and you're using it inappropriately. I see people using it as spot treatment. You're just applying it just to a little pimple. No, this is field treatment. This is to the entire face because not only does it work on the active lesions, but it also helps prevent acne. And prevention is key because preventing acne is easier than treating it once it comes to the surface. Once you have acne that's come, that has come to the surface, it has to do is dance, play itself out, and then go away. Maybe you can speed things up with the hydrocolloid patches, the benzoyl peroxide, but that's not always guaranteed. So this is nice to put on to the entire face. If you're not pregnant, we say retinoids are fine to use long-term, but definitely something to consider. Uh, you know, this is probably towards the bottom of the ladder. I'm not saying this is good as tretinoin, tazeratine, the stuff that I prescribe, but pretty impressive stuff. It's a great start for those with mild acne. And um, so, I'd have to say that there, this one does come in a smaller size. I believe it's 15 grams. This is the 45 gram size. So you might say, oh wow, difference way cheaper than La roche posay but always look and see how many grams you're getting. This one's 45 grams. It's about 30 plus dollars. This one also the same price, similar in price, but there's the 15 gram one is much cheaper and you're gonna be like, whoa, difference cheaper. No, just got they do come in a much smaller size. So keep in mind um, that uh, this has two sizes. This is just one standard size. Uh, look in the back, the active ingredient, you can see Adapalene 0.1%, it says it's a retinoid. So let's open this up. So that's the La Roche-Posay. This one is more like a toothpaste tube. This one is a nice canister, airtight pump. So I like pumps a lot because it's convenient. All you need is a pea sized amount to your entire face. That's usually what I recommend, whether you're doing Adapalene or Tretinoin. So let's try to 
This is a brand new one, so you're gonna have to do a few pumps. So one pump should get you that large pea size amount. So you got that one pea size amount. What I would do is break it up into two parts, make little dots on your face, and then connect the dots. All right, so I put that on, glides on really nicely. It really is just a small amount, it's really all you need. And when you start off, you might wanna start off every other day and not every day. Because I see a lot of people get too excited, they try to put more than a pea size amount and they get irritation. That's the most common side effect to a retinoid is that you can really irritate your skin, especially in the beginning uh, stages of using it. First three weeks can really be rough. If you can get past those three weeks, you can really start getting a nice routine and doing it every night to every other night. So in the beginning, maybe just do two or three times a week at bedtime just to start off really just that pea size amount. Here, the La roche Posay, this one is more of that toothpaste size tube. Open this bad boy up. I'm just gonna show you here that pea size amount, that large pea size. Right there, that's all you need. Break it up, dab it on your face, and then voila, connect the dots. Then you're all done. Don't forget your nose. I'm just gonna apply some on my neck because you can apply on your neck, but be very careful. Sometimes you might have to moisturize before applying it to your neck because your neck is very sensitive. And I wouldn't put a full pea size amount on your neck to start off with because uh, I see a lot of people get irritation on their neck. My neck can handle it. Uh, it can even handle tretinoin, so I'm putting some of this on, pea size amount. But in terms of uh, tolerance, what, what do you do if your skin's breaking out from a retinoid? Uh, you're gonna back off, maybe just do it once a week. You're gonna moisturize after for sure, but sometimes if you're really sensitive and raw, you might have to moisturize before and after your retinoid, and that's called the retinoid sandwich. So hopefully that works for you. Are your sunscreen during the day, retinoid at night. If you see me, I might add in some other actives into your routine. The latter is very broad and uh, there's a lot of options. And a lot of times, one thing that works for one patient won't work for you. What your sibling might come in, I might give them something and I'm, uh, you might get a completely different plan or you might get the same one because you have very similar types of acne and acne you can break it down into just whiteheads, blackheads comodonal acne or inflammatory acne, pustular acne. You can, then you can also get nodular cystic acne, uh, hormonal acne, very, very common in women uh, on the jawline U-shaped distribution, usually in your 20s, usually like mid 20s and on. And those are uh, its own special uh, condition with their own special plan. So, uh, you know, I hope this video was helpful. I, again, this doesn't replace the doctor's visit, but just wanted to kind of do a rundown on what kinds of things we talk about in your consultation, your acne consultation. It's always good to know what you've tried. Are you sensitive to salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide? Because some people have true allergies to them and they get really swollen and red uh, you know, reactions to it. So I wanna know about that because sometimes I can prescribe something with a little mixture of like say benzoyl peroxide and adapalene. So I wanna know about that. I wanna know if you've been on oral antibiotics, other um, you know, treatments. If you have hormonal acne, I wanna know if you're on like a birth control pill, if you tried spironolactone, uh, you know, what's your skincare routine? Are you picking? And sometimes you don't even have to admit, I can tell if you're picking. And that is a big no-no, don't pick, don't pop. You see all those, those viral videos on TikTok of people popping their acne, don't do it, okay? So uh, yeah, even Lil Nas X was uh, guilty of doing that the other day uh, on his TikTok. And then later on he commented saying, I just found out I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, so definitely respect the skin, be careful. We don't wanna add more scarring to what's going on. So hope you like this video. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And I just wanted to say thank you for your support. Thank you for the growth in the channel. And I'm having a lot of fun with you guys. So. Uh, have a great week. Have a nice fall season. This is my favorite season of the year. Take care. Peace.